Today we're taking it on an event that took almost one whole year for me to beat, which is the Fighting Spirit of the Saiyans and Pride of the Wicked Bloodline event that released on the 2022 Worldwide Celebration. If you guys don't remember this stage, this is the level 3 stage, where you go through 10 waves of all 5 types of the Metal Coolers. And so I finally done it free to play. It was one of those events where I had to skip when it first released, but it's only because Movie Heroes free to play wasn't as good as it is now. And not like it got too many buffs um, from, from then and now. The only real addition is the new Su Dragon Ball Super Hero Gohan as our AGL unit. And then also the STR Yamcha which is really good because he has guarantee guard. And luckily, there is a Peppy Girls unit in this team, which is the Great Saiyan and Great Saiyan 2 units, the Gohan exchange unit, which is very good. So they're paired up together. I'm using the guards as the friend leader, uh, movie heroes leader, but because they can stack up, they're much more reliable in terms of defense than they are if you were to use the Super Saiyan Vegeta and Goku from what I've been using, even though they have boosted in damage, if you stack enough, um, they can pretty much come back in terms of damage compared to the Super Saiyan duo as uh, they have like type effective, multiple supers built in and dodges inbuilt. Because these guys, the Metal Coolers get pretty tough um, once we get to like the last three phases, which is the TUR awakenings of them. I believe we're starting off the from the fifth battle. So this is the sixth wave. Uh, we'll know once we're in the eighth phase, once they awaken, because right now they're in the SSR forms. I have already exchanged to the Goku, which is originally the Goku and Gohan, uh, because I think I was pretty low on health. And it's good because they have guard as well. Now, you are allowed to bring items. I did use a Icarus here, just because... Um, my plan was to get to the sixth phase and then use an item every single wave. Uh, that way, once we get to the 10th, at least we have a Whis. And surely, with the multiple additional super attacks that a lot of these units do have on this team, uh, you can get through it and just hopefully, you know, don't have to take too many big hits. Biggest problem is the Metal Cool is lower defense, which is so annoying. Uh, that's where dodge comes really handy for the guards. As you saw, we did dodge that super. Uh, the remaining team here, we got LR Great Saiyan as the leader for the super lead. You just have to run all five typings. And our only weak unit here is Int Trunks. He's our only good Int unit that can support and at least dodge something. In terms of damage, he provides absolutely nothing. Um, cool thing about this Goku is that if you're versing Terrifying Conquerors, which we are, we do get the inbuilt additional. And because he can raise defense as well, it's very handy. So we can take out the Int's... Um, just by himself and the guard 30,000 we did use an Icarus but it's very very helpful and yeah so we have that rainbow team going and all it is just chip damage getting through multiple amounts of fights and uh, my plan is to get the Doku mode on the 10th wave obviously by the 10th wave they have the most HP the most defense so you want to get the strongest hit in on the 10th wave, and which is the Doka mode. But uh, things didn't go to plan, I will say. You can tell that they're tanky when Yamcha, 3.7 mil attacks that can't even kill type advantage. And we did exchange to the Gohan, which is really hard to do on the stage. You have to get to have only one Metal Cooler alive with over 50% HP to exchange. And if you can, it's much, much more easier. Just because he can greatly raise his own attack and defense. And he can actually output some good damage out. His support, as in the original form, is not really that useful. Only when the um, Ella Grace Saiyaman and... Great Saiyan 2 is on the rotation where the support is really helpful. But other than that, yeah, you'd rather just go for the exchange for the damage output. And the increase in defense. Although, the original form does have the inbuilt dodge, which is kind of good. This is the worst part, is if you start off with Yamcha, it really is pretty tough. Because he's obviously much less defensive than the guards. And you kind of want to start them out 
just so your Icarus and Whis can um, be used as effectively as possible. But uh, the attack pattern wasn't the worst ever. Just had to deal with type disadvantage on Great Saiyan Man Gohan. Three mil. And even though Gohan is in his exchange form, he does still count as a Peppy Gal. So Yamcha does still have his guarantee guard, which he is being acting as our first slot unit. I did have him at 18 dodge, but then for this event, I kind of really need those criticals. So I did change it up for him to have a lot of critical. Because even a crit won't even kill the physical metal cooler, which is crazy. He needs to get like a crit and an additional super attack to just to kill. But as you can see, we are on to the TUR phase. You can see how tanky they are. Now, the rotation that I really wanted was the two Super Saiyans together, obviously, for max damage output. It was just at some point, there was a circumstance where I needed Goku in the main rotation. If you guys do enjoy today's video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. I'm still trying to hit the 100,000 subscriber mark. So, all the support that I can get. Thank you. Cool thing about the Super Saiyan Blues is that if they do crit, because they have type advantage, they do end up one-shotting pretty much any metal cooler. If they don't crit, however, they don't really one-shot. Um, so when I can, I always ate some here full health metal cooler so that the additional 12 keys can probably kill ones that I've already done chip damage to. And here, Gohan has done enough super attacks where his crit rate is increased a little bit. And he's built up to the max, so he has a decent amount of defense. Not killing here was actually really good. Like I said, you want to start off each phase with the guards. And now only two more phases left. The Doku meter is pretty far up. Was not expecting to build the Doku meter that quickly. But this is the second last phase. And I believe I only have... Do I have uh... I think this is my last Whis. Let me see. Oh, no, I still have two Whises. Okay, so this is the first Whis. And I always just look at the attack pattern. If I can get rid of a character that has type advantage on one of the characters attacking next, um, it is very helpful. Here was the biggest problem. I knew we are going to get the Dogen mode the next turn if I grabbed the colored orbs, and I didn't really want to, but then... At the same time, I really wanted an 18 key with Grey Saiyan Man, Ella. And that wasn't possible unless I dropped the blues. Obviously, getting a Doku mode at the start where everyone's full HP is probably the best. It didn't look like, however, I was going to make it. But I ended up trying not to get the Doku mode. I was like, you know what? Grey Saiyan Man does raise defense on the 12 key. I was like, it's going to be all right. Here comes the int super attack. Luckily, I did Whis, so it would have one-shotted us for sure without the Whis. That lowering defense is just really annoying. And as you can see, if you don't crit, you don't get the one-shot. But the additional coming through finishes off one whole metal cooler. Additional does a good amount of damage because we did stack up for at least like nine turns until we transformed. Got a nice little dodge there. Yeah, just doing no damage. Luckily, no super attacks there. We still active. So Yamcha is still pretty safe with guard. It's pretty low on HP. There was still a decent amount of metal coolers. And Goku doesn't have his guard, unfortunately. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get the Doku mode. Screw it. Luckily, we had all the correct colored orbs here on the field to just build up that meter. Because it was pretty far. You needed like all same colored orbs here just to even get this meter to full. It's always nice to be full health again, especially on the next phase, which is the last phase 
kind of definitely want to be at full HP, just in case you get that type disadvantage super. Still have that one Whis, which is good. At some point, I did lose count of how many phases we were on. With the Doka mode, you can one-shot everybody, so that was good. All right, this is the last phase. One Whis left. So we let's activate that. Grab all those green orbs on the left. Targeting the physical here because I don't want Trunks, which has like under 100,000 defense, to take any physical attacks. Not even a normal attack. I don't even want that. I would... I'm even sacrificing taking... Having Gohan take a tech here, which is also as scary. Get those medium chance dodges. 6.3 mil. Hoping for that crit to one-shot. We did. It didn't actually one-shot, which kind of sucked. Maybe if I had one more stack. So we did waste that 12 kin. That was all we did there. 4 million on Gohan, which is not bad. Luckily, um, Trunks is a movie hero support. So we're getting a little bit buff. No additional, however. And luckily, the tech did not super attack us. So that probably would have ended the run. And we got a nice little dodge. Decent attack pattern. Tech not receiving any int attacks or any attacks at all. Take out STR so Great Saiyan doesn't get hurt. And all we had to do really was survive this turn with a Whis active and then we should be able to get the win here. If Yamcha can get the kill, yes he does with the additional. Maybe a triple, I haven't seen him do a triple yet. Nope. And only three left. Gohan gets the crit and the additional. Does this, this shoot kill? I think it did. Very clutch, critical, and additional. And then we got a critical there. And then followed up by the additional. So with a Whis, double defense stack with Defenders of Justice stuff. Even a super attack I don't think kills. And there you go. Attack patterns favors us very nicely. Remember, Goku does have that guard. Key-wise, is not the greatest, but we were able to drop the reds here to get that least 20 key. That's all we needed for them, 20 key, so you get that full effect. 24 is also nice. And the guards get the job done. Disabling the attack as well. And well, bam. And there you go. That was uh, the level 3 stage of the Fighting Spirit and Pride of Wicked Bloodline. Which means I've completed the whole event. Look out for an additional video that will be released sometime in the future. Where I complete all of the missions. So uh, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell so you don't miss that video out, as well as leave a like on today's video. I'd really appreciate it. Till the next one, stay healthy, stay safe, stay busy. Peace out.